The city of Toronto is asking for a review of the Cannabis Control Act, and this all comes as officials say one in five pot shops that are currently operating in the city are illegal. Joining me now is Carlton Grant, executive director with the city's municipal licensing and standards department. Good afternoon to you, Carlton. Good afternoon, Melanie. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining. So let's start here. When this was put into place in 2017, there was a good use and it did work. So let's talk about why it worked then and why it doesn't work now. Yeah, absolutely. In 2017, the province introduced new uh, legislation, new regulations that governed how legal cannabis shops, storefronts could operate. Uh, and as a result of that, it gave us the teeth uh, the combination of our bylaw officers and the police. We originally had close to 100 illegal storefronts and we were able to knock that down to five. Uh, because we had the legislation, it was fairly new. People were complying with the rules. And since then, it's been seven years and uh, businesses are starting to creep back into the, into the market. We're up to 53 illegal storefronts now. Carlton, a lot can happen in seven years, as we have seen. So, as mentioned, 53 unlicensed to, to count, licensed, unlicensed cannabis dispensaries, 215 are legal, um, putting that at a one in five. That's a massive ratio. Um, what other activity might be involved in some of these dispensaries that there is a, a major concern around? Um, yeah, the concern is that this is illegal activity, this is criminal activity, and uh, when our officers are going into these stores, there's there's presence of, of guns, uh, large amounts of, of cash. It's just uh, there's things happening that our officers really shouldn't be uh, involved in. We do go with police. Uh, police are uh, best suited to deal with this type of illegal and criminal activity, uh, and I think that's, uh, that's where this is likely going to go. The key words that you said there, illegal and criminal, and um, something very unique with the city of Toronto uh, being a municipality where you, as noted, your bylaw officers are going in there, and, and, and it's a very sticky and tricky situation for your officers to, to deal with something that uh, perhaps they are not necessarily trained for. Uh, that's correct. Uh, we do not have arrest powers, we do not have seizure powers, and we do not have uh, use of force, nor are we trained in and nor should we. So it's incumbent upon me as, as the employer uh, to put my people in a safe spot. Uh, and this, these are not safe places uh, for my staff to go. And it's, it's essentially, it's best to be dealt with by, by the police services and the OPP, who's uh, again, heavily involved in this from the HECO's perspective and from the province's perspective. One of the tougher situations, it always comes down to money and what is in the budgets and where the people power is to be able to enforce some of these bylaws. And, and that's a tricky one, uh, you know, as we, of course, look ahead to the budget uh, tomorrow. Of course, this cannot be included because a review does not happen overnight. Uh, but what are you hoping the next steps might be uh, moving forward when, when this is potentially reopened and relooked at? What would you like to see? Um, so first of all, you're, you're correct, this is tricky. Uh, what we'd like to see is the temporary funds that the province provided to the city in the, uh, in the first few years of the program are reinstated that help, uh, again, the police, uh, I can't speak for them, but they have a number of competing priorities, resources being one of them. And uh, if the city were to receive its appropriate allocation of funding from, uh, from this particular program, it would assist in, uh, in enforcement it would assist in uh, cracking down on illegal storefronts. All right, a lot could potentially be done. It is a matter of if this gets reopened, re-looked at, and uh, all of those who are involved uh, are heard from as well. Carlton Grant, appreciate you taking the time with us today. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for having me.